Hi, in this video you'll understand the difference between ChatGPT and the OpenAI API. So I'll focus more on the OpenAI API because you know what ChatGPT is. So I'll cover an example how I use the OpenAI API. You'll see my account here. I'll explain the pricing, how it works with the OpenAI um, API part. And yeah, that's it. Let's begin. ChatGPT, you know what it is. You just say something here as a user, you get a response. So more or less, it's about chatting. And it uses the LLM on the background. So your answers are sent to this LLM, which is basically it's a program which processes your responses. But that's all you can do more or less with ChatGPT. And that takes us to the API part. What is the API for? Well, let me show you an example. With the API, I can connect to this API using code. So let me show you some code here. You see, I've connected to the API and I give it an API key, which is stored somewhere here in my files. So you open an account with the open AI and the website is different. Now, both ChatGPT and the API are from the same company, open AI, but the websites are different for ChatGPT. We have ChatGPT.com for um, OpenAI, we have platform.openai.com. So you go there and you get an API key. And then you put that API key in your program. And what this program does now, see if I execute it, um, I can chat with the LLM from uh, my command line. So just like you do with ChatGPT, you get an answer here. Hello, how can I see you today? But the difference here is that I can customize this program any way I want. For example, for this particular program, I can ask the assistant to uh, send me an email to John telling him to send me the slides. And this program, 